Hello there, this is Renee. And welcome back. If you're new, I do love messages from your person. Um, this could definitely be a soulmate message because I've been feeling the synchronicity so strongly. If, if you're in this collective, if you resonate with this, the energy is getting so, so intense, right? And I feel like your person is tugging on your energy so strongly. There could also be a lot of sexual energy, a lot of fantasizing, a lot of daydreaming going on right now. Um, and I feel like whatever your person is thinking about, I, I feel like you can kind of pick up on that, right? Um, you can kind of feel it. Okay, let's get a message. Let's get a message, please. I regret lying to you. Your person may have told you certain things, and I feel like they didn't tell you the truth about a lot of things. They definitely didn't tell you how they felt, or the, maybe they lied about, maybe they lied to you about how they felt. Maybe they told you that they didn't care, or they didn't want a relationship, or they didn't didn't love you, right? But I feel like your your person is lying, and now they're regretting everything that they said that was a lie. They, I'm I'm really feeling like your person is feeling like they're losing you, like they. Like the distance is getting so great. Like the distance is getting to be too much for them to bear, for them to handle. And all they want is for you to be next to them. All they want is for you to be near enough for them to touch, right? I, hence the sexual energy. I want to be more than friends. Okay, I feel like, you know, for some of you, this person may have told you that all they wanted was to be friends. Um, <clears throat> and to be totally honest, you know, I feel like they just wanted to keep you in their energy so that they, they could keep an eye on you because they didn't want you to venture off too far. They didn't want to lose the ability to have you you know they wanted to keep you in their energy so many things remind me of you yeah i feel like that you're as as you're getting the synchronicities as you're getting the daydreams and the the visions i feel like they are too and i feel like so many things remind them of you it could be a song that plays on the radio all of a sudden that kind of brings them back to you or a place or even someone who may look like you from a distance they they feel like everything reminds them of you like they just can't get past it like you're haunting their their dreams you're haunting their thoughts <laughs> they don't even have to close their eyes to hear your voice or smell your scent i feel like you are kind of lingering around this person at all times and that's the reason why they try to distract themselves with so many things so many people so many you know working so many hours or you know they distract themselves because they don't want to spend their time thinking about you I feel you even though we're apart. Yeah, they feel your energy. But at the moment, at the moment, I feel like your person is, isn't feeling you the way they used to. They, they're not feeling your energy the way they used to. And that's scaring them. That's making them feel like they're losing you. Like you're... Like you're being taken away from them, right? I'm grateful for the spiritual lessons. 
I feel like you and this person have went through a lot of lessons. Um, you're still going through lessons, right? Um, this is a spiritual journey when it comes to soulmates. And the soul ties are so strong. They're strong. The bottom, I want you. There's that sexual energy, right? But your person feels like... They feel like they're losing you. And they feel like they have so many regrets. So many things they want to say. So many things they want to do. So many places they'd like to go. Um, I feel like your person is taking time to make plans. Plans that you're unaware of. Um, and ironically... They're making decisions that you're not aware of. And I feel like that's not anything new. Because I feel like your person was making decisions or making plans without your knowledge for a very long time. Um, give me one more message, please. We need to let each other go. They feel like they're losing you. So you, your person feels like they need to let you go. Because if they don't, they're going to be hurt. They're going to be so hurt in the end. See, there's that sexual energy again. I want you. They, they want you in their life. But they feel like they're going to end up losing you. So they feel like if they're the first ones to let you go, then it won't hurt so bad. Then they won't be heartbroken. But what they don't understand is in a connection like this, there's no letting each other go. There's this connection is eternal. This this connection it can't be severed. And I think that the longer they stay in the situation that they're in, the more intense these feelings are becoming to where they finally understand that this connection cannot be severed. No matter what you do, you can ask for it. Look, I want you again. It, 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 it keeps coming up. It keeps coming up. They, they want to be near you. They want to be near you. There's this energy. There's this intense sexual energy. This intense intimacy that they can't get from anywhere else. And they, they're they having a hard time realizing that there's no running from it. There's no getting away from it. It's not going to die. It's not going to, you know, it's not going to go away. This connection is eternal. You're going to be going through life after life after life yearning for this person. Just being next to you is intoxicating. There's that energy again, you know? They're, and they replay conversations over and over and over. Yeah. I feel like your person is finally coming to a realization of who you are and who you are meant to be. In their life and for some of them it's a hard pill to swallow you know they they weren't expecting this they weren't expecting to fall head over heels and it scared them it scared them they they weren't expecting to fall in love again because I feel like your person has kept things the way that they wanted them for so long without putting their feelings involved so when you came along and those feelings just started to bubble up and and become intense and become you know overwhelming you know it, it, it was too much for them to handle because they didn't feel like you know, they're, they're, they're wondering why with everybody else, I can shut off. I can run away. I can just 
cut them off. But with you, they can't. They can't do that. With you, it's different. With you, they can't help but to love you. They can't help but to see you as an angel. As someone who they have always dreamed of. Always wished for. And now you're here. And to have everything that you want in a person suddenly come up after you've been through so many things is scary. It's very overwhelming. So, yeah, that's what I have for you. So, if this reading, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any readings. And have a nice weekend. Many blessings to you. Love and light.